Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans. And in this video, I'm going to be giving my testimony and experience hiring a professional organizer to organize my kitchen. Yep, that's right. I went ahead and hired someone after watching a bunch of TV shows on Netflix and other platforms. I was watching it and I was like, man, all of these people are getting this beautiful help making their house a home and making their home more comfortable and organized and decluttering and things like that. And I wanted to be a part of that craze, not because it was popular, but because I really felt like I needed it to be productive in my life and to make sure that I'm being the best version of me when I'm advising students who are underrepresented at a college, when I'm creating content for you all. And of course, as a daughter, as a wife, as a cousin, all of these different roles that I take on. And for me, that meant hiring a professional organizer to help me with my kids. So I'm going to share who organized my kitchen, what the process was like, what my review and reaction is, and how it's been benefiting me. And it's been about three weeks since the actual organization happened. And so I want you to see if I've been keeping up with it or not. So stay right there and let's get right into the video. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below if you are interested in hiring a professional organizer for your home, and if so, whether you wanna hire someone or you want to do it on your own, what is the number one area in your home that you want to be organized? Okay, so you all know I wanna keep you engaged, but I also want to give you the information and the details that you need. So first of all, the person that organized my kitchen is Holly from Well Sorted by Holly. You can find her socials right here at the bottom. And the way that I found her is Instagram. I just looked up hashtag professional organizer Chicago or Chicago professional organizer and boom, she showed up. So Instagram is definitely a source for finding professional help and that's what I did. So I went ahead and found the hashtag and I reached out to her. She was very professional and got back to me right away and we scheduled a day and time. She helped me um, figure out what I needed, the product that I needed, and I will show you some of the products she suggested. But what I wanna do to keep you all engaged and interested in this video is I'm gonna talk a little bit about what she did and then I'm going to show a little bit, right? So um, in the process, we talked about what my goals were for my kitchen. So in the process, we talked about what my goals were for my kitchen, what my number one concerns were for the kitchen and things like that. So the first thing I'm gonna show you was, I just wanted some things to just look prettier. Um, I wanted them to be functional first of all, but if we could have a little pretty area, I actually wanted that too. So she actually achieved that for me. So this is my coffee station. So this is the before of the cabinets right above my coffee station. As you can see, the glasses are cluttered and things like that. And this is the after. Much more organized, less cluttered, and I'm able to reach for things a lot more easily. And she even cleaned up the counter space here. I'm able to reach for what I need and not run into anything else. And I think that's really important when it comes to organizing. Um, I'm able to grab this cup and it's not a big deal because there are not a bunch of cups here clinking into it, right? And I'm also able to grab these in the same way. Also, I love that she organized these even though they are different designs, they're the same color. So we were still able to make them look cohesive. And so that was cool. And she has them kind of in order of the things I use the most to the things I use the least. So the most here at the bottom, I use these glasses the most. Reach for these kind of like second, and then these third and fourth and so on. And at first I tried to cram everything, all of my glasses in this one cabinet and it didn't work out. It just didn't work out. So she was able to categorize them for me. So these are everyday drinks and mugs. And I have another cabinet with my dishes and cups for alcoholic beverages. So this was nice. This was like my coffee center slash everyday cups. And I love how it turned out. Next, we have a very functional cabinet. This cabinet features a few things. So the first shelf is dedicated to our alcoholic drinks and glasses. So this is a shaker you see over there to the right. Then you see our mugs that we use for certain drinks, our mason jar we use for certain drinks. And in the back behind there, we have shot glasses and they're all tucked away. So we don't take shots every day. Um, <laughs> we, like to, we like to enjoy ourselves, but we're not using shot glasses on a daily basis, right? So they're back there. And then when you go up a little bit, 
we have our baking needs. So my husband, he wanted to be able to have his baking goods front and center and available. And I will show you these containers a little bit better at the end of the video, but um, they are clear containers so he can see exactly what he needs. That was really important for him to be able to see that. So he is happy that they're there. And then my mother-in-law, she passed down these lovely china dishes to us. And we don't use them often because we do cherish them and we want to make sure that they don't break. So they are at the top there. So when we need them, we'll grab the ladder. And we'll be very careful with grabbing those from up there. This is the next cabinet. It's a continuation of the last one in my head because at the top we have more china serving dishes and teapots and things like that. And then we have our baking ware, right? So we have a baking pan here. We also have the um, Pyrex on the left and we have a mixing bowl. So that kind of, it's kind of a continuation for me. And that's how I think in terms of my cooking and usage of these items. We then have our everyday dishes and we use these plates and bowls on an everyday basis. And so it was very appropriate that they were closer to the bottom so that I could reach them easily because I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I am only about five foot three inches. So for me, I can only reach to the second shelf and then I have to get the step stool, right? So it's good that these everyday items are at the bottom and then the items I don't grab for as much are above. All right, so one of the things that Holly made sure that she let me know is that she was here to make my space more functional. She wasn't just here to throw away all of my things or get rid of everything that I owned, but make it work for me. And she never took the liberty of just like throwing anything away or taking anything away. She asked me about everything, but she still was able to do things on her own as well because that was important to me. I didn't want to just be sitting here breathing over her shoulder or anything like that. So she just had the perfect balance of coming in and being a professional and looking at things, but not taking the liberty of just like getting rid of stuff or moving things around without us without us talking she also had really good um stopping points where she would consult me and ask me okay chloe how do you like this does this feel good do you think this will be sustainable for your everyday life and so it wasn't about making things just look pretty but it, but it really was also about making things functional and making sure that they work for my everyday life and like i said it's been about three weeks since the experience so it's sustainable. I mean, I've cooked, I've cleaned, I've washed dishes, I've had to put dishes away and the kitchen is still intact. So I think that her tactics and the way she evaluated our behaviors and what we grab first and how we like to cook and things like that, it really helped to make the kitchen um, not only organized, but make sure that it made sense for us. So as you just saw in the before picture in the video in the beginning, this was my most problematic cabinet in my opinion. This was a catch-all and this was the cabinet that I reached for the most and I tended to overstuff and fill this cabinet. It still feels like my most used cabinet, but is much more contained. I am able to reach all of my spices and seasonings in just one reach. I used to constantly knock things over here. I used to also constantly switch from putting these bigger containers from here to the one at the bottom. And then I wouldn't remember exactly where it was and it would cause frustration when I was cleaning. I also have these things that are very oddly shaped, but they all belong together. And so I like that she was able to fit them all together in one acrylic container and I can see all the items from here. Another thing that was really concerning for me was that I would use canned goods on a semi-regular basis when I make chilies and things like that. And so it was hard for me to reach the cans. They were pretty much always at the bottom. And so it was hard for me to see them in the dark cabinet. So with her moving them up here, I can always see what cans I'm grabbing and things like that. So I know what you're thinking. Chloe, is that all of your food? Is that the only food you have in your pantry? No, I have more. And this is the beauty of Holly's system. It is all the way up here above my microwave. So I do have to get a step stool to get up here, but that's okay because it's backstop. All of these are brand new unopened items that I do not have in the other cabinet. So I just used some beans the other day, the canned beans. And so I'm gonna go ahead and replace them in the main cabinet and take them out of the backstock. This is also the place I look when I go grocery shopping. 
I know that I don't need any lasagna. I don't need any rotini. I don't need any Spanish rice. I don't need any grits. I don't need any oatmeal. I don't need any more of that seasoning. I don't need any more Parmesan, right? <laughs> so I'm able to look and see. I don't need any more black pepper. I have back stock of that. We don't need any more protein. That is back stock. We have a protein that is already opened. And so this is a really great thing. The other thing is that she looked through all of these things to make sure that they were not expired. And I did have some expired food, more than I would have guessed. So I'm very grateful that she came and got rid of all of that expired food. Very grateful for that because if it wasn't for her, I don't know if I would have really paid as much attention as I should to the expired items. I even have a back stock of coffee right there that my husband likes to use. So like I said, this was an amazing part of the process that she went through and made sure that I have a back stock. So I can always take a picture of this before I go to the store and know that I don't need these items because not only do I have them in back stock, but I also have them on my main shelf. Um, I feel like my experience with Holly was a perfect combination of her giving me new tips and helping me to implement new strategies and then taking the things that I did before and not trying to completely change my habits, but offer some new tips and suggestions. So I really appreciated that. One thing that I was complaining about was that some of my cups were not tall enough to fit in those cabinets. And so one suggestion I had was to, we could have raised the cabinets and that's totally an option, but um, I actually like this one much better because I don't use them as much because I'm working from home right now. So I am not really going out as much and I'm not really um, using travel mugs and things like that as much. So she was able to create a space for all of that. And what I like is that this space it has a bunch of different functions, but they all work. So this is my bottom cabinet below my island, okay? This cabinet serves a few functions. So the first one is we have alcohol over here to the left side. I also have um, a container with, it usually has flour in it, but right now it's empty. And then I have my travel cups in the middle. I love my travel cups, y'all. I don't know if you know this about me, but I love my travel cups. I love my cute little um, Starbucks cups and things like that. I'm obsessed, love them. I don't have a lot compared to some, but I want to make sure they're contained. I also have a crock pot back there. I have my back stock of my coffee back here. I might think about moving that back stock of coffee, but we'll see. I like that it's down here because it goes with the back stock of the um, cups. And then we have my toaster and we also have cutting boards down here and we have a can opener and we have a Nutribullet back there. So a lot of things fit in this cabinet. I also have another container there that I'm not using. Um, so I love it. So I feel like Yes, it serves a lot of different functions, but I know where everything is. I know that this is pretty much my small appliances as well as my travel mugs and alcohol. So I really have a good idea of where they are and that's what really matters. And I love that it's contained and that all of my lids are on my containers. I don't know about you, but I always lose them. So I know where all of the lids are to every single container. Right above it, I have this drawer that holds all of my Tupperware. Yep, I said all of it. This is all of my Tupperware. We do not do leftovers in a huge way. Um, and typically, <laughs> I'm eating at home for lunch because I'm not going into work for lunch. So I don't usually make it in advance. But with that being said, I love that I can reach and grab every single piece of Tupperware that I need in an instant. If I need the big one, I know I have the big one here and I have the actual top there. And every single thing has a lid and top. This is the only thing that doesn't, and that is because I usually use these for mixing and serving, not for storing, all right? But other than that, all of these have their own top. Even this one that doesn't have the top here is over here, and they all match. So all of these plastic containers, they all match each other. So even this lid goes with that lid, etc. And she made sure to put all of this in one place. These were literally everywhere. I had no idea how many of these containers I had. They were all over my kitchen. I had no idea. <laughs> So these are the containers that hold smaller condiments and things like that. So I am very grateful that she put all of these containers in one place and that I'm able to open my drawer and grab them pretty much immediately. I can just grab that container and make it happen, right? So when you're done cooking and you need to put things away or you're done shopping and you need to put groceries away, the last thing you wanna do is be scrounging for your containers. And I love that she put these containers in one cohesive drawer. And the next drawer, I have my different freezer bags, my wax paper, plastic wrap, foil. I also have some labels here for the different containers that I have. And then I have these pantry 
labels. Um, I love these organization labels. I got them from Hobby Lobby and I'll do my best to link them in the description below, as well as all of the other containment items that I have. I'm going to link them or something very similar to them in the description below. So make sure you check that out so that you can shop with me. You know that when you use my links, it helps me to grow my channel. So make sure you go ahead and check those out. But this is pretty much it for this drawer. Um, I have some little grilling supplies back there and then the foils and the freezer bags and things like that. So for me, another important thing that Holly was able to achieve was that she allowed us space to grow. The way she organized our kitchen allowed us to be able to grow our space even more. So I'll give you a little peek at how that looks. This cabinet at the bottom, it has my paper plates, bowls, and things like that. This plate is a little out of place, but paper plates and bowls. It also has a reusable bag, plastic um, tablecloth, and we use that more so in the summer when we have people over to, you know, for us to barbecue and things like that. I have my lunch bag in the box there, um, in the back, I'm sorry, there. We also have my Instant Pot top, the other lid that I have, a container there, and we have our little wedding um, dishes at the top there. Then we have some more containers I haven't used yet and my plastic bags. I like to use these when I'm cooking to throw things away in them. So that just is helpful. And look at all this room we have to grow. We have plenty of room. So I can move this over and I can add another bin the same size there or I can just leave this open for whatever I need. So I have a lot more room to grow here. So this drawer <laughs> has all of our utensils for cooking, right? I had no idea how many duplicates I had. I had two sets of these measuring cups. I had two sets of these little measuring spoons. I had two, three spatulas, two, three potato peelers. All that stuff was duplicated. And so it took up so much room and created so much clutter. And so I went ahead and put those things in the donate bin. Some of them were brand new even. And I hate to get rid of things that are brand new, but realistically, if we need to replace them, we can go ahead and replace them. It's not something we need to hoard or hold on to. So I love that she put everything in arm's reach. When I'm cooking, I can easily grab one thing without knocking down another. I'm not moving anything else when I grab these items, right? I'm just taking them from their spot and putting them back. And I love that about this drawer. I loved giving you a sneak peek into my kitchen. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed the before and after pictures. I feel like Holly did an amazing job. And if you're in the Chicago land or Indiana area, make sure you go ahead and send her a message, ask her for assistance. I have her website in the description below. I believe I'm gonna put her email down there too and how to get in contact with her through Instagram. So you can go ahead and contact her. But even if you're not in the Chicago land area, you can still, use Holly services. She has virtual and e-services for those who would like services but don't, do not want her to come inside of your home or if you live far away she can help you on the phone. So it's pretty cool that she can kind of offer those suggestions, tips, and tricks to keep your kitchen clean and organized and that was my main goal is to get her to help me out so I can do more of what makes me happy. I wanted to do that. So I was so happy in the amount of time it took her to do it. She did it in five hours. And when you see the before video, you know that was no easy feat. It would have taken me two weekends, two Fridays and Saturdays to do that. And so she gave me some of my life back. She gave me the opportunity to work on other projects and things for you all and also for work. And it really took a lot of stress off my shoulders. So I'm gonna have her come back and for what? I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to make you guess in the comments. What area do you think I'm going to do next? Make sure you let me know which area you want to organize and make better in your home because I feel like we need that sense of community here. I'm exposing myself and putting myself out there and showing you what I'm doing. So go ahead and let me know in the comments. What is it that you want to make better in your home? What areas do you want to improve upon? And would you be interested in getting organization services? And let me know. Just let me know in the comments. You can check out Holly's profile. Even if you're not in the Chicagoland area, she has some awesome organization tips that I'm gonna be using this week for myself. So make sure you go ahead and check out her Instagram. Check out my Instagram as well. I'll put them down at the bottom of this screen and in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video.